welcome to Robin on the Farm. Today we're going to be talking about beans, bullets, and band-aids. Those three areas are what every prepper wants to be prepared in. Um, bullets will refer to your self-defense and all that kind of thing. Your band-aids will refer to your first aid and your personal hygiene items. And your beans will refer to your food and your water. Um, and today we're literally talking about beans. Every person should store at least, at least 60 pounds of beans um, per person, dry beans. Um, and we mainly store our beans in these five gallon buckets um, and these number 10 cans. We also have um, some beans kind of for convenience um, in these kind of cans, but it's way more economical um, and easier to store for the long term, especially these beans will be good for 30 years. These will be good for five years, you know? Um, so I prefer storing dry beans. It takes a little bit more work, but it's totally fine. Um, and I do like having these also just for quick, like I'm out of time, I need to throw some beans in the crock pot with our meat kind of thing. Um, but anyway, 60 pounds of beans per person. Um, and I think that is way low. I think you should store like at least double that. In our household, we have black beans, pinto beans, and white beans. Those are the main dry beans that I store because that's what I use. 60 pounds of uh, legumes. Now legumes can be um, dry beans like we talked about, or lentils, or split peas. I think that kind of covers everything. Peanuts and that kind of thing count too. This is what I keep in my long-term storage. And this is my, my pantry one that I have open. I just kind of throw bits and pieces in. Here's some pinto beans, green split peas, lentils. And this is what I keep in my pantry that I just kind of pull from and work from. Baby lima beans. I love lima beans. I mean, I'm from the South. We eat a lot of lima beans um, in your Brunswick stew and that kind of thing. Um, great Northern beans, white beans, that kind of thing. Um, and red beans. Red beans and rice, red beans with some sausage. Oh, that's a good meal. Um, and let's see, I got some black beans in here too. I put in a big old bag because when I buy them, I like to buy them from Sam's Club or Costco and like the big, I think it's 20 pound bags. And then we um, store them like this. Now, this is my kid's handwriting. I have my kids help with all of our um, food storage things. So when we um, store these, when we put them in the Mylar bags and put the oxygen absorbers in it um, and seal the Mylar with like the hair um, iron, hot iron, and then um, put the top on and wrote on them. My kids did all of that because I want them to know how to do this stuff. I want them to kind of carry this um, food storage on with them in their lives, you know, once they leave home. So they know how to do all this stuff and I think it's a really cool skill that they know how to do. Um, but, so, we buy it in the big, huge 20 pound bags. And let me tell you, this little, this is a 16 ounce or one pound bag of red beans. And so this is two cups of dry beans. This will make, once you cook it, it'll be five or six cups of um, cooked beans. These little cans are about one and a half cups of cooked beans. So, this right here equals four cans of beans. Um, so, I don't wanna get into prices too much because I actually have not bought canned beans or dry beans in a while and I know the prices have just gone crazy. But what I do know is when I was buying cans of beans, they were about 50 cents a can and these were about a dollar a can. So you get about double what you get from this than this, right? A dollar, and this would have been two dollars but i think the prices are way crazier now so that's probably not right um also the flavor when you cook your own beans it's way better the flavor the texture way better than these cans of beans but these are convenience and it's also good to just be prepared in everything if we all of a sudden were power down off grid kind of thing then these things would probably be like gold because you don't have to use any water um, you just open them up and you can eat them. And beans are really, really good for you. They're full of folate and magnesium and protein. The main thing is protein. You need protein in your diet and um, dry beans are the cheapest, 
easiest thing to store for your protein. Um, today I'm going to show you how I make um, dry beans into cooked beans. I use my Instant Pot. I think it's the easiest, fastest, best way because um, the Instant Pot is a pressure cooker. And so it'll take these hard dry beans and make them edible very fast. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, I am going to make a pound of beans. So it's gonna be two cups of dry beans. It's about right. I'm gonna take these dry black beans and I am going to rinse them. And you'll wanna kinda of look through them and see if you see anything weird. I think they look fine. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my Instant Pot. Looks good. Now these are unsoaked. These are directly from the package into the Instant Pot. So these are my beans that are now rinsed. I'm gonna add six cups of water. Now six cups of water is kind of a lot. So this is where it's important that you have your um, water storage figured out really good. <laughs> have a good source of water because if you have a bunch of dry beans, you better have some water. Now for flavor, I am going to add some of this chicken bouillon. I love this stuff. I'm gonna add um, a tablespoon of this chicken bouillon to the pot, pour it on there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of minced, minced garlic. gonna make it taste amazing. Okay, so that is it. Now I'm gonna, if I can do this one-handed, put the top on, make sure it's on sealing, not venting. And then I'm gonna go right here to my bean, set to 42. I like it at 50. I'm gonna let them um, come to pressure and cook for 50 minutes and then I usually let it natural release. Let that go. I'm gonna, I usually let it natural release for like 15 or 20 minutes um, and then our beans will be ready. Okay, so my beans are cooking here in the Instant Pot. It'll take about an hour and they'll be ready, which I think is pretty fast considering it only took me a minute or two to get them in the Instant Pot. It really doesn't take much work at all on my part. Um, and the Instapot does all the work for me, so I love it. Um, one thing to keep in mind um, when you're storing a bunch of dry beans is that you have to have a lot of water stored. Um, this was six cups of water in this recipe. That's a lot of water. Um, so it is important to have your water storage figured out. Um, that's another reason why it's great to have a bunch of um, canned beans also stored, um, just in case you don't have much water to cook with. Um, but all in all, um, it's important to have layers to your food storage, backups for your backups, have dry beans, beans that are canned and have things that are ready to eat. And also that you, um, can put a little more time and effort into to cook, um, because those things that are easy to store, the dry beans and that kind of thing, they do take a little more time, a little more effort than just popping open a can of beans, but, um, they're also way easier to store. Um, so when this is ready in about an hour, I will let you see them. They're gonna be a beautiful. Okay, so our black beans have cooked. I haven't released the pressure yet, um, but while they were cooking, I got a little curious about the prices of beans right now. Um, so I got on walmart.com and just looked up the Great Value brand, the cans of beans, um, all the different black beans, pinto beans, Great Northern beans, um, that kind of thing. They were all 82 cents a can. So that's even more than I would have thought because I know I was buying them for like 49 cents a can. Um, and it's been a while, but I know I was. Um, and I also looked up um, the one pound bags of dry beans are $1.24. So those used to be like 99 cents last time I bought them. Um, so everything's gone up pretty good amount. Um, if you were to buy four cans of beans, that would be $3.28. And if you were to buy one pound of dry beans, which is equivalent to the four cans of beans, that'd be $1.24. So um, if you buy one pound of dry beans and make it yourself like this, 
then you'll be saving like $2.04 um, for the exact same amount of beans. So that's pretty good. Um, so anyway, here's our beans. They are done. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, they came to pressure, took maybe 10 minutes. They cooked in the Instant Pot for 50 minutes, and now they have kind of natural release for 23 minutes. I usually let stuff release for 15 or 20 minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna release it now and see what happens. It still has to release a little bit, it's gonna be wet. Mm, they look good and they smell amazing. Okay, so something I was just thinking about is I have beans um, that I canned in number 10 cans way back in 2003 and 2004 <laughs> and um, that are still fine. They're still sitting downstairs in my basement um, and I just, I wish I knew how much I paid for those. I could probably figure it out. I could probably look it up, but um, wouldn't it be interesting to see how much of a better deal I got back then as opposed to today? Um, and know that we're still eating on those and like saving money. It kind of feels like you're saving money as you eat those instead of buying it continually. Um, I even have some beans um, that I got from my mother-in-law that she canned in number 10 cans back in 1999. So it would be so interesting to know how much um, those dry beans cost compared to the dry beans cost now. A few days ago, I made a ham and we've been eating on it ever since. We've had really good um, dinners and really good lunches. I made some rolls and we've been eating like ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch. Um, and now we're down to the ham bone. So I put the ham bone in the crock pot today. Now I am gonna add um, these black beans and add a couple cans of carrots. And then I'll let that cook in the crock pot for a little bit longer and make some rice and serve it over rice. And it is gonna be amazing. So that's what dinner is tonight. So I'll show you how I put it together. I'm probably going to use about maybe half of these beans and I'll keep the other half in the fridge and use them in a different recipe later on this week. But this ham bone cooking in the crock pot in some um, bouillon all day, oh it's going to make this taste amazing. Okay, I'm just going to add some carrots, good old canned carrots just because I have them and I have a ton of them and I need to use them at some point. So. Might as well get them out and use them. I'm just gonna let that cook a little longer and dinner will be ready. So tell me this, do you have 60 pounds of dried beans or legumes stored for each member of your family? And if you don't, I really encourage you to try to start stockpiling and getting your food storage up to par. Um, it can be as simple as grabbing one pound of dried beans for $1.24 every time you go to the grocery store, or maybe four cans of already baked beans. Um, if you keep doing that over time, all of a sudden you're gonna find that you have a really great stockpile. Um, sometimes it's expensive if you go out and try to buy lots of food at one time, and then all of it goes bad at one time, but if you kind of build up and build up and build up, then all of a sudden you will find that you have a great food storage supply. Um, and it'll bring so much peace and calm to your mind, to your soul, that it's well worth the effort in having food storage. Thank you for being here and I will see you on the next video.